Smile, 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 by Wilfred Owen, read for LibriVox.org by Joseph Finkberg. Head to limp head, the sunk-eyed wounded scanned yesterday's mail. The casualties typed small and large, vast booty from our latest haul. Also they read of cheap homes, not yet planned, for said the paper, when this war is done, the men's first instinct will be making homes. Meanwhile, their foremost need is aerodromes. It being certain, war has just begun. Peace would do wrong to our undying dead. The sons we offered might regret they died if we got nothing lasting in their stead. We must be solidly indemnified. Though all be worthy victory which all bought, we rulers sitting in this ancient spot would wrong our very selves if we forgot. The greatest glory will be theirs who fought, who kept this nation in integrity. Nation? <sighs> the half-limbed readers did not chafe, but smiled at one another curiously, like secret men who know their secret safe. This is the thing they know and never speak, that England, one by one, had fled to France. Not many elsewhere now save under France. Pictures of these broad smiles appear each week, and people in whose voice real feeling rings say, How they smile, they're happy now, poor things. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain.